Hello guys, I'm Six here and welcome back to a brand new video where today we're going to be taking a look at a race that I did a week ago now. And this was on a set of course in Sim Racing System on James Tumulty's 1990s BTCC Championship. Uh, first round at Donington National. Uh, there was two cars available, the Beamer, which I am driving, and the Nissan Primera. I mainly chose the Bimmer because I have a preference of rear-wheel drive cars over front-wheel drive cars. It's pretty much the only reason I picked it. But one thing to note about the BMW is that it's not fully complete model-wise. Physics-wise, it's all pretty much there, but model-wise, it's incomplete. So you may see some, like, unfinished bits throughout the video. I apologize for that, but I wasn't expecting uh, to record this race. Uh... But it was a pretty fun race, so I thought I might as well turn it into a video and show you guys some of the cool shit that went down. Um, so yeah, background is I went into this race with about four laps total practice. I kind of decided I wanted to do it on a whim. I had the time available, which I usually don't, um, and so I decided, screw it, I'm going to go into it. Did a couple of laps of the car and track, I was like, yeah, this feels okay. Uh, I dialed in a couple of little setup changes here and there and hopped in. Uh, this was only my second ever race on Sim Racing System for a set of Corsa, so my rating was quite low, meaning that I got bunged into Split 2, um, which if anything was better for me with my minimal practice. Um, I was probably going to be around people who aren't going to be taking it as seriously, but still obviously trying to get a good result. Uh, so yeah, in qualifying, I actually used qualifying as more of an extended practice session. Uh, I put on race fuel, I put on the medium tires which I'd be running for the race and basically just went out there and started doing consistent laps and tried to sort of push as fast as I could. So it was kind of a hybrid, I was, I was trying to go as fast as I could around the track but, you know, building my track knowledge on how the car's going to feel for the race. I eventually set a 1 minute 10 on the mediums and on race fuel and I was pretty happy with that so I thought it was time to go and change on to the soft compound tires drop the fuel and go for a proper qualifying run because I still had a couple of minutes left to do so but in the end that lap fell a little bit short of the previous lap so in the end I would end up starting 10th which actually isn't too bad given that there was about 22 cars starting so with that being said let's head on over to the race all right so here we are lining up for the start of the race as you can see, we're on the roof cam now. You can see there's a little slit in front of the bonnet, which you can kind of see through the car. Again, I'm finished. But yeah, we're starting P10 here. We're going to get going. Uh, my main goal here for lap one was to plainly just survive. Um, I had no clue what the rest of the field was going to be like, um, how the race was going to pan out. So, yeah, I thought I'd just survive. I picked up a couple of spots there because somebody got a shock in start. But I'm just going to settle in behind this Primera, and I'm going to give this guy on the inside some space. He's going to cruise on by. I'm not going to fight it. I'm just going to lift off, let him through. I'm going to break quite early into this turn, which again is going to leave another place open, which is not ideal, but again, I'm focusing on survival, so we can always make these spots back up later. Um, so yeah, I'm going to break again pretty nice and neat there. I had to move out of the way because this guy sent it up the inside. And I was like, nope, I'm not going to risk squeezing him. Um, yeah, going to look up the inside a little bit there. I'm not going to actually make the move. But uh, yeah, so in the end, I gained two places, then lost three, which actually pushes me down to P11 to finish off lap one, which isn't ideal. But as you'll see coming on to lap two, we'll quickly make some of those places back. As we come on to lap two, we're hunting these guys down the straight. We're going to break into turn one. And we're going to absolutely sail around the outside of this Primera. There's a couple of cars ahead of a bit of a scuffle. Going to quickly squeeze on in between. The Primera is going to get a little bit of ground on us, having to avoid that wreck. But I'm going to have the momentum going down the hill. Primera is going to back off eventually and concede the space to me. So I'm going to cover him off, take the inside line for that turn. And that is back up a nice few spots. Now, okay, as we're going to come up on now into Coppice, you can see there's a car right off there in the gravel. He's going to cause a big old kerfuffle up here, which is actually going to net us one, two, three spots, which is pretty nice. Um, 
That car at the front also went off the road. All three of them went off the road. <laughs> so that's a nice few extra spots gained there. Okay, so jumping forward a little bit. I'm hunting this guy down now. I'm gonna make a little look just to be like, hey, I'm faster than you. Uh, but I'm not gonna try and make the move because it'd be a bit stupid. Um, but here is where things are gonna start to come unraveled a little bit. As I'm gonna overcommit to this turn, break a bit too early, get on the throttle a bit too early as well, and I'm just gonna sail off into the gravel. Which is not ideal. That's gonna cost me a lot of time, and I'm gonna pull over to the right here. Collect that Primera around the outside, and he's gonna then get on the dirt and spin himself out. Um, not ideal for him. But uh, yeah, I've now got an angry pack of cars behind me. Uh, I think they were all able to miss the Primera, so good on them. However, I'm going to come down into the chicane and completely stodge my braking, go off here, get a penalty, because a set of courses penalty system is great, hold in the clutch, and I'm going to lose a couple of spots here. That Primera from early is going to get past me, and then there is going to be another car getting past me here, and then as we come into turn one, I'm going to get passed up on the inside, which is going to compound my losses even further. But uh, I believe this is low down as I drop. Um, nearly made contact with him there, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to settle him behind and then focus on trying to get back past him. Don't even need to go for the lap, and there's already more action. I'm going to catch these two cars here from McLean's. I'm going to send it around the outside. This car on my left is going to move over and nudge me for some strange reason that I don't really know. But I'm going to give him space on the outside. He's going to proper squeeze me, and he's going to keep the place. Um, I've kind of lost time here, which isn't ideal. But uh, there's another car right on my tail as well, so I'm going to stick to the inside to try and block him off. And I'm going to, again, stodge the braking into the chicane, and I'm going to completely cut him off, and he's going to tap me on the rear end. I felt like a bit of a dick for making that move, so I'm going to move over to the side here, just give a little lift off the throttle. I didn't have a penalty, but I thought I'd let him by, because I, I kind of got in his way. Um, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but... It's whatever. It happened. And that guy who knocked me earlier, he's going to spin clean off the road. Um, so yeah, it's now time to focus on regaining those spots that I lost. Jump before a few more laps. Now, I've been hounding this guy for the past few laps. I haven't been able to make a move. It's quite hard to make a move here at Donington. But he's going to make my life easy for me because he's going to outbreak himself into McLean's. And so I'm just going to send it up the inside here. And then I'm going to screw this next turn myself and run wide and give the place back because I'm an idiot. But I know I have the pace advantage on him, so I'm just going to get my head down and I'm just going to focus on catching back up and making that position. Okay, actually at this point he's pulled a bit of a gap on me. He's actually passed the next car down the road. However, his day is going to come undone when he's going to tangle with a lapsed car up ahead which is going to send both of them off into the gravel. The lap car is going to get away with it. So I'm going to pass both the lap car and him. A little bit on the inside, but I I wasn't sure where the lap car was going, so I thought I'd give him as much space as possible. So yeah, that's a place gained. Now to focus on getting the next spot. So here I've caught up right to this orange car ahead of us. And I'm actually going to get a much better run here through this turn. And I'm actually going to be able to... Take a look, he's going to hold the inside, but then he's going to move out. So I'm going to switch into the inside lane. And this is going to start a bit of a recurring theme. Uh, I wasn't confident into this chicane. You'd already seen that I made a couple of mistakes here before, so I really wasn't confident trying to make a move through here. Which was a problem, given that that sector was where I had a huge advantage in pace-wise over this guy ahead of me. And I wasn't able to make the most of it, because I was never quite willing to drive the car hard enough into that turn to uh, make the pass work. But as you can see, he's going to hold on to his position here, and so I'm just going to be resorted back to constantly hounding at him until he either makes a mistake or opens another window for me to try another move. Don't even need to go a lap late, and I'm right on his bumper now, and I'm going to switch out to the inside. I try and take the inside here, but I'm going to be a bit too cautious and get a bit squirrely on the curb, which isn't going to help my chances, and he's going to keep hold of his position for now. I'm going to try and get a slipstream down the straight, see if I can make do with that, and we're going to break down into the chicane, and we're going to swing through, and I'm going to get a good run off of him here. He's going to hold the inside, so I'm going to swing out, I'm going to hold this outer line into turn one, and hopefully I can either get underneath him, 
and switch, do the old switch route, or I'm going to hopefully try and drive around the outside of him. He's going to hold it on my inside, so I'm going to try and drive around the outside. Didn't quite work out, but I'm going to be right side by side of him here as we're going to come down the hill here. And I'm going to pull up. He's going to lift off a little bit. I'm going to bang doors. He was able to luckily keep hold of it. I'm going to back off a little bit here uh, and give him the place. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep back on the attack as we're going to come back up the hill. You can see the pace advantage here. I'm going to break down into this turn. He's going to screw it up again. And I'm going to have another look at his bumper. But this time, not just not going to quite have the pace to pull up his inside. But I'm going to get a run through here. He's going to leave the door open for me on the inside. And I'm going to try and run it through. But again, he's got the advantage on me coming into the hair chicane. Sorry. And so I'm just not confident enough to take it. I'm just going to let him have the place. And we're going to go on to the next lap. Again here, going to really reel him in through here. I'm going to be right on his bumper. And I'm actually going to pull to the side here. See if I can make any impression around the outside. It's not the best line to take, but puts me alongside him. I'm going to ease off into here. He's going to cover me off. I'm nearly going to run into him, but I'm going to get the car stopped enough in time. And uh, then we're going to come up into this turn. I'm again going to get a better line through here than he is. But this time he's going to cover off that inside good. Which means I have to back off. Uh, I'm going to get a nice toe down here. But uh, just to quickly explain why I'm not confident in the chicane and why I keep messing up. So I'm going to take a look down the inside. But that's more in case I lock up. And he's going to compromise the line a bit for it, but And I'm going to get a massive run. So maybe I won't explain about the braking just yet. <laughs> um... But yeah, I'm going to get a massive run around the outside again. He's going to cover off the inside. Great defending from this guy, I must say. It was a pain to get past him. Uh, he's going to halt the inside. I'm going to try and go for a switcheroo, but I leave it a bit too late. He's going to cover the outside. I have to get out of the throttle to avoid running into his bumper. And we are tight. As we're going to keep coming down this hill. I'm going to lease off a little bit. Hoping to get a bit of a run on him through this turn. As we're going to catch up to a lapped car again. I believe this is the same lap car we ran into earlier. We're going to have a little bit of a moment there. Which is going to help him hold on to his lead over me. Obviously not lead of the race. Uh, through here again I'm going to get a much better run on him. And I'm just going to bounce over the curbs. Which means I can't get up his inside. Which is kind of a shame. I'm still going to take a little peek. I'm going to take a peek through the turn as well. I'll try and force a door open here. But it's just not quite going to open. And this will be a perfect time to talk about the braking. Because I actually had this car set to 85% brake pressure. So I'm going to get right alongside him. But again, I'm going to chicken out of it. I had the car set to 85% brake pressure. And I was still locking up in this thing. Which is kind of ridiculous. But, you know, we live on both to fight another day. I have more shots to overtake him. This race isn't over yet. Here we are on the final lap. I've got a great run on him here. And I'm going to make the most of it. Shoot down to the inside. And I'm going to get right alongside him. He's going to give me the space. And I'm going to take the position to claim P6 overall in this race. And i got to admit, that was a, it was a great battle. It was really hard to get past him. Because uh, he put a great job of defending. But it was it was good fun. Constantly uh, battling for it. As I'm going to screw up the shit in a little bit. But it's fine. So I'm still going to come home. Hold on to the position. And take P6 overall. I think it was a pretty successful race. So, yeah, it was fun. Probably going to have to do something like this again. But, uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, like, I appreciate it. If you're new, subscribe if you appreciate it. I guess that's it for now. Goodbye.